Hey everybody, Pastor Michael here. We're learning this week about how to develop your rhythm with God. So the growth track has this statement in it. It's one of the most important statements in the entire growth track. It is this, devotion to Christ is the place where the human heart is most satisfied. We're gonna talk about, we're gonna mention that every single time all week long. See, you can have devotions without devotion, but you can't have devotion without devotions. This week we're looking at six tools. Today, tool number tool number two, if I can spit it out, tool number two is let the word read you. We've talked about that before and other people have talked about that in their devotional, but I wanna give you a passage out of Hebrews chapter four, verse 12, it says this, for the word of God is living and active. Let that sink in a minute. The word of God is living? You mean it's living like, like a plant lives, like a dog lives, like we live? Yes, it's living, it's the same word. The word of God is living and active sharper than, edge, than any two-edged sword, and piercing as far as the division of the soul, spirit, and both joints and marrow, and able to judge the thoughts and the intentions of the heart. The Word of God is absolutely powerful. So we come at it sometimes like we're, like, like we're above it instead of submitting ourselves to it and, and letting it read us. There is no creature hidden from his sight. All things are open and laid bare in the eyes of him with whom we have to do. So in other words, God is saying, I want you to read my word and let me speak into you, let me pour into you, let me reach inside of you and touch you and help change you from the inside out. And you're saying, I wanna learn more about what's in there. And that's, that's wonderful. Learning what the Bible says. My wife talked about it a couple weeks ago. It's absolutely phenomenal. You should go back and listen to it. We do need to understand what the word of God says, but we need to let God be the one who decides what we need. We open our hearts. He speaks into us, our life change. So tool number two is let the word read you. We wanna be over it and decide what we get from it, but God wants to use it to pour into us what he wants to get for that day. God bless you. Don't forget, let the word read you.